Hi, Mia Culpa family. Sorry about the sun glare. It's a, it's a beautiful day here in the countryside. Hope it is where, where you are. Um, I want to talk to you about the new Citadel painting handle and how it compares to Old Reliable here. So without further ado, let's take a look at this new Citadel painting handle. Um, the first thing I'm going to say, as soon as I've seen it, without even opening the box, it appears like it's going to be considerably smaller than the old one. Um, I do really like these old ones. I was tempted when this was announced to try and buy up as many of these as I could. Um, it's probably my OCD more than anything, but I'm a big fan of these old handles. Um, I've kind of modified these in a way that works for me. Um, you can see I've stuck a magnet on the bottom here, and that's just because if you're leaving this overnight, um, it's not not that sturdy, it, you know, it's fairly top heavy. But if you've got any old piece of metal lying around bit, one of my baking tray kind of project boards I use, which um, I'll drop a link to here, or my magnetic storage, or even just a pencil case, suddenly that becomes a lot more stable. So I'm hoping that underneath here there's enough room to add a magnet as well. Um, but let's, let's crack it open and take a look. There you go. So, it is taller, but it is overall smaller. It's got a nice little smudge of paint here. That's fine though, it's going to be covered in paint one day I'm sure. Um, first glances, um, the mechanism doesn't feel quite as smooth as it does on these. Um, and also, one of the one of the things I felt had great promise with this product that was never really followed up on is that the handle itself could be removed. I was hoping that GW would start selling a lot of these different heads separately so we could just swap them out, not have to buy a whole handle at the same time. Um, that never happened. We did get a load of different varieties of this handle released over the years. So, you know, there's, a, there's a massive one, there's one with silly little arms poking out the side, which I never bothered with. Um, but it looks like that's no longer true. Presumably this is a lot cheaper to manufacture as a result. Um, strange question as to why it would be more expensive then if it's if it's cheaper to manufacture. But I'd say it's less top heavy. By taking out a lot of this material here, they've made it... Yeah. It's fair, it's a lot harder to tip over than the old one. And there is a fairly deep recess here. Um, I'm going to be able to stick a couple of magnets in there at the very least, so that's that's a bonus for me. I know I'm probably the only one in the world who does that, but that's one of my favourite things about this handle. So, let's see how it actually holds a mini. I've got a variety of different little little fellas here that I've had to hand. Um, this is a 25mm base, it's a snotling from a Blood Bowl team, team that I'm painting at the moment. In the old one, it clips in there fine, it's got it's got a little circular shape that hugs it perfectly, and he is not coming out no matter what you do. Let's see how he fits in the new one. Okay, so I don't know if you can see there, but that's not quite as an exact a fit. In the old one, it would hug all the way around the base. Here, it's actually got two bits of plastic cut out, so it's not fitting all the way around. But there's no... I can't knock him out of there. I, I'd hope. I'd hope that this painting handle isn't going to get abused like that in actual use. I'd say for a 25 mil base, that works perfectly fine. I do worry that not not having the exact shape of the base in there, it may rub paint off the the edges. If you if you've well, if you've already painted the sides, which you probably shouldn't before you put them in here, in truth. But it does happen occasionally by mistake. Here is, I believe these guys are 32. Shall I just check that? These guys are not... Oh yeah, they are. This is a 32mm base. Um, on the old handle, again, really sturdy. No issues. He's not going to come out particularly easily. And the same can be said for this. Um, there's no massive difference in the way it's held between these two. But, mm, it shifted a tiny bit then. But no, he's not coming out either, he's fine. Going up to the bigger sizes, this is kind of the biggest size I would ever use in my old painting handle. This is a 50mm base, 40mm base? I think it's a 40mm. 
indeed 40 mil base. Um, one of the things that worried me with these painting handles is they, if you can see that, they almost seem to bow in this kind of direction when you stretch them to the bigger sizes. Um, I wouldn't recommend ever going any bigger this, than this in one of these painting handles. Let's see how it fits in the new one. Um, it's bowing again. It doesn't feel quite sturdy. I'm not going to really throw this guy around. But he's in there. He's not coming off. And he's still, he's still fairly sturdy. He's not, or stable that is. He's not, not wanting to fall over, which is great. Um, and I've got a 50 mil, very optimistically here. I brought a 50 mil model as well. That's, but no, you still have to go and buy the. The heavy duty, the extra large, whatever the, the version of this they called, which was much bigger. Um, I really don't like holding something <laughs> something that big, a base that big, on one of these painting handles. It just seems impractical to me. Um, when it comes to to form factor and kind of comfort, I'd actually say I prefer this new one. Being completely completely smooth. I mean, there's not much in it in reality. The difference being, I guess, you can you can hold it like that as opposed to like this. You're getting a hmm. there is a difference in the grip. Perhaps this is going to give you less RSI. I don't know. I think this may be a tiny bit skinny for my hand. I haven't got the biggest hand in the world. Um, it's not uncomfortable. I wouldn't say there's a, there's a massive amount of difference between them. Um, the only other downside to this is you probably don't want to leave it lying around where the vicar's going to see it when he pops around for tea. Um, it does look a bit dodge. But overall, I'd say I'm not unhappy with these. And I think I'll probably end up getting a couple of these as well, magnetising the bottoms. Um, it's nice to see that actually I could fit an even larger magnet in there, so I could probably attach it to one of these trays and it's never going to come off. It'll, I could probably go through an earthquake and it's not going to tip over and it is nice seeing that they have that that top heavy kind of problem with this guy fixed quite easily um, when it comes to, to strength and, and the way it actually works I think they've actually really narrowed down how many springs there are on here it looks like you can see in there it looks like there's a sort of a spring or a piston or some kind of some kind of metal bit holding it in one on each side. If I do the same on this guy, you can see there's actually two on each side. Oop. Two on each side, which if anything, yeah, so there's four springs it would appear on these. Um, if anything, I'd almost say that's too much of a grip on there. But yeah, I'd say all in all, it's, it's almost a matter of preference which one you prefer. I think I might prefer this one though, the new one. So if you see one in your local hobby store, don't be afraid to pick it up. Um, I know they were quite hard to find when they were first released. I think stores were limited to three a store, but they're starting to roll out there more, more easily. I had to pick this one up online. Um, but there you have it. So if you've got any questions, do let me know in the comments. Uh, drop a like if you found this useful, and do subscribe for more content like this. And hopefully I will see you next time on Mia Culpa Hobbies.